Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. Who's the stupidest person you've ever met? An old co-worker named James. We worked at McDonald's and were both 16. One time, while mopping the lobby, he for some unknown reason decided to chase a number of customers around with the mop yelling I'm gonna getcha. He was fired on the spot. My brother and I were in the kitchen one day as teenagers. My brother was filling the sink to wash dishes. When the sink was nearly full he went to turn the tap off but it wouldn't budge so the water kept flowing. I tried turning it too but with no success. This is when the panic set in. The level of the water was rising fast and we didn't want to flood the kitchen. He took big saucepans out of the press to fill with water to keep things from overflowing, while I was in a frantic scramble under the sink trying to find the mains to turn it off there. I couldn't find it. Now really panicking I took over the pot filling duty and my brother went running off to look for dad as quick as he could. Dad came running in with my brother while we were shouting at him about looking for the mains. Dad just came over to the sink and pulled the plug out of the hole letting all the water down the drain. Haha. <laughs> I've told this story before, but I like telling it because fuck Tammy. I had a boss named Tammy. One night, we were all working late doing stock take, and we were discussing the impending lunar eclipse. Someone asked what happens during an eclipse. Tammy grandly explained that the eclipse would occur when America went in front of the moon, blocking our, Australia's, view of it. Like she literally thought the earth stretched itself into like a U-bend or neck pillow shape, and half of it stayed in our normal orbit, and the other half stretched itself over and around to casually block the moon for the rest of the earth. My roommate for the last three years once said that if solar technology keeps advancing at the rate it is, we will absorb all the energy made by the sun and fix global warming. Not five minutes later after attempting to inform this poor fellow about how the sun's energy output is not determined by what the energy eventually interacts with, he states that wind farms are worse because they cause tropical storms. I hope he is just an epic troll. I just. I don't know. Had a guy in a third year undergrad developmental psych course raise his hand in a full lecture hall and ask the professor, prof, do infants diagnosed with SIDS get asthma later in life, like are they more likely to get asthma? SIDS stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. He just kept pursuing the question the prof didn't understand how she could answer it, she thought there was some kind of logic in it that she wasn't seeing. Finally some girl took the initiative to shout across the room. No they are not more likely to get asthma, they are dead. They have died suddenly and will thus not be at risk of developing asthma. Great day. He always sat in front of me and I would see him writing just absolutely horrible poetry and song lyrics. I am half Korean going to high school in the Midwest during the 1992 LA riots. My typing teacher pulled me into the hallway and asked if I had an uncle or something I can call in LA to make the riots stop. She said she knew that we are all close and we all have stores and whatnot therefore I must have a connection there. I was like, lady, even if I did have an uncle I could call do you think he is Batman? My high school classmate whose name is Nick. We were in chemistry, doing a lab practical, which required the use of a bulb pipette, a glass pipette with a removable bulb that you squeeze. Nick didn't know how to use the pipette so he put it to his mouth to suck up sulfuric acid. It got about three quarters of the way up before our teacher screamed Nick K. Stop that right now. My cousin. All through public school, she was a snob who looked down on everyone. She was super stylish and struggled academically. We graduated in 2014. We both went to colleges, not the same one. She got a job at a bar, stayed out late drinking. Her boyfriend told her she didn't need to complete college, so she just stopped showing up. Didn't drop, just stopped showing up. Completely flunked out. Here comes the mega stupidity, our family's live hours away from her college at the time. 
her family went to move her back home. My cousin's mom noticed a pile of clothes in the corner. The mom said what's that, your laundry? Pack it and we'll wash it when we get home later. My cousin, I kid you not you can wash those. Turns out, she'd been throwing away clothes instead of washing them. She claimed she didn't know she could, yet she washed her undergarments and bras without a hitch. She's now at home with her family and has started doing more chores to show an increase in responsibility. She still tries to throw clothes away, citing that she didn't know they could be washed and reused. Makes me wonder what she thought all those years before college, before she left home. She wore some of the same outfits repeatedly she had to have known they could be washed. When I was in the Navy, there was a cook on my ship. He once served rare chicken. I genuinely couldn't tell whether he was trying to cover up his limitless incompetence or if he genuinely believed that rare poultry is a real thing. He was dumb enough to believe it. Another time, he just filled a pan with ground beef and called it meatloaf. Another time he was supposed to make sugar cookies, you know, several hundred of them for the whole crew. He didn't bother to read the label on the container he opened. And apparently he didn't taste the batter at any point, and he actually made salt cookies. He used up all the remaining salt in the pantry and we had unseasoned food for the remaining several weeks of the mission, during which time the captain assigned someone to be the cook's bodyguard. A girl my dad dated for a while. Even while dating her my dad would say she was dumber than a bag of rocks. One day, she sat down to watch a movie with my dad. Movie was all about this guy and his twin brother. She sits and watches the whole thing, no interruptions. At the end, she turns and asks, so there were two of him. Would explain why she always had the TV turned to a music channel. Apparently she couldn't follow normal TV or movies. There was a troubled kid I went to high school with. He struggled with school but had friends but was starting to do drugs and go down a bad way. He decided to photocopy the front and back side of a $20 bill, cut it out of normal paper, and glue the two halves with Elmer's glue. What's even more sad is that to test his new money he went to the gas station and bought some gum and it actually worked. So in his mind it must have meant that it was foolproof. So he then tried to go and deposit the glued up money at an actual bank. He was obviously found out and arrested. I don't know where he is now but I'm assuming he is making similar life choices. Had a next door neighbor who robbed a Howard Johnson's at the top of our street at gunpoint, wearing a ski mask. Took the money, took off the mask and was walking home, two blocks down said street, when cops pulled him over, and found the mask, the gun, and the money. He was wasted and asked them would it help if I said I'm sorry. Got a couple years in Rikers Island. Came out, broke into a local apartment house, stole some money and jewelry, got stuck out on a fire escape when the ladder wouldn't go down. And he had closed the window behind him. Couple more years. That's two stories, I guess. There's a few more, but you get the picture. He did leave me a box of cassettes when he went up one time. Among them the Allman brothers live at the Fillmore. I became a lifelong fan, so, thanks, unnamed next door failed robber. He was actually a really nice guy, and, like, a young Ray Liotta handsome. Just dumb as a brick. I know a guy smokes a lot of weed and is fairly overweight. He had been trying to find work but was having trouble finding a job since everything he was interested in drug tested. He told my boyfriend that he had a plan that might help him pass a drug test. Since weed supposedly gets stored in your fat cells, he proposed that he should just eat even more than he normally does so he can gain weight. That way, the fat that he gained would replace the weed fat. Boom. Problem solved. She ashamedly told us, her co-workers, how she dry humped her boyfriend and thought she was pregnant. They were wearing clothes. She wasn't pregnant. She also thought the Great Depression was in the 60s and along with the end of World War II. In the 60s. She's a nurse now. 
Don't know if the stupidest, but pretty stupid. We were on a drive through an animal park. We see an animal. She asks what kind of meat would that one be? Someone replies oh, it probably tastes similar to beef I'd imagine. A few minutes later we see a different animal. She asks and what about that one? Would it be, like, a fillet or a t-bone or something? Then I realized, this woman thinks different cuts of meat come from different animals. Once at a restaurant in New Orleans, my friend ordered macaroni and cheese. At the table with about 15 other people he says out loud, how did macaroni and cheese become a thing? To which I replied what do you mean? He says. I mean, it's so redundant, you know. I say what? How is macaroni and cheese redundant? And he says think about it. You've got cheese and then you have pasta, which is made of cheese. He thought all pasta was made of cheese. I worked on a hay press for about a month. Most guys had high school education. One particular guy was telling me about a girl he was talking to on Tinder, or some various dating slash chat app, when he said that she was in New York and that he wanted to go visit her. I told him that that's pretty cool and New York will be quite the change from our little town. He then asked me how close New York was, we were in Washington state, he had no idea New York was over 2000 miles away. When I was a teenager my friend's older brother was one of the dumbest I'd ever encountered. We once witnessed him trying to see inside a motorcycle gas tank using a big lighter. He assured us a lighter flame isn't hot enough to ignite gasoline. On another occasion, we got into a debate concerning the power of an atomic bomb. He was dead set that it could only take out like two houses max. This man went on to have multiple arrests before I moved away, also fathered three children by two women. We all lived in a trailer court as well, not saying it's a prerequisite for idiocy, but some of us get out and some do not. Guy I went high school with was at a party and asked the homeowner if he could have her tattoo kit, she obviously said no. He left and came back an hour later with a ski mask on demanding for the tattoo kit. Was arrested the next day. Can't make up that kind of stupidity. I once had a property manager, person in charge of the rental I lived in since homeowners who lived out of state, who did a bunch of obnoxious things. My husband and I thought she was greedy and maybe getting money for herself and hiding it from the homeowners for repairs or something like that because of shady seeming things she would do when we had repairs. Then we mentioned something about gardening. She said you know, I've always wanted to try growing tomatoes and just watering them with salt water. That way, the tomatoes would already be salted when you ate them. Huge reminder to never attribute to malice what is just pure old fashioned being dumb as a rock. Knew a guy in high school who I'm 99% sure only passed because he cheated like crazy and got tons of people to do his work for him. In grade 11 he was taking some kind of politics course and was writing some kind of essay on American politics, we're from Canada. I agreed to edit his essay and it was the most insane thing I ever had to edit. There were multiple sentences that I couldn't understand until I asked him directly, he ended his essay with the phrase just like Jesus would have wanted, I don't think he was Christian, and spelled Condoleezza Rice as Congolese Rice. My 24 year old cousin. She legitimately thought that my sister being a vegetarian meant that she could not eat animal crackers. Guy I worked with named Buddy bought a huge snap-on roll-away toolbox for over $3,000, on credit. Two days later, he sold it to a co-worker for $1,500 because he had some overdue bills and had to pay them. Needless to say, he never paid snap-on for the toolbox he was off into the winds after he was fired for starting his fourth fist fight at work. One of the other guys I worked with told the snap-on salesman where Buddy's new job was, and last we heard they are now garnishing his wages. Guy was a nutcase though. He had very thin skin and the slightest thing would set him off. He's go absolutely nuts when he was set off though. He yelled at the security guard and threatened to have him fired because he didn't like his tone. 
He almost got fired three times for fighting, but he was able to win the department manager over until the fourth time. Oh, and one time he was told to put caution tape across a malfunctioning gate and he said I don't know how. This one lady at Atlanta's beer, bourbon and barbecue festival who clearly didn't know where she was. I'm getting started on this rack of ribs, quietly minding my own business with a glass of beer. When from the group in front of me this lady comes up to me and tells me how she can't stand the smell of meat, roasted or smoked, and tells me to get away from there. This is despite the fact that the event's name has barbecue in it and she had to pay $40 to get in. After she left, I had a good chuckle and facepalm with another lady at the table, but God, I've never seen more stupid in my life. My friend's father robbed a bank in a small town in Indiana where he lived. This was in the late 70s or early 80s. He spent 10 years in prison for the crime. The same day he was released from prison. He robbed the same bank again. He was caught and back to prison he goes. He did not learn in those 10 years not to rob any banks or anything in that matter. My friend was like this is what every father does and did not seem shocked over it. I once called an Uber driver. When he arrived, he immediately asked me, are you going to, X location? I said, no. He responded, great, because I'm not going to take you to, X location, dot. Fine, I said. The journey got underway, and I was curious as to what he would have done if I'd said that yes, I wanted to go to X location. So I asked him, hey, what would you have done if I had said that I did want to go to X location? He responded, look man, I'm not going to fucking take you to X location, okay. I told you already. I was a bit befuddled, but I tried again, no no, I don't want to go there. In fact, you already know where I want to go, it's on your destination map. I'm just curious, what if I did want to go to X location? Would you have refused me the trip? Would you have driven off? He said, look man I can't change the trip now. And anyway I told you I refused to go to X location. You gotta understand I'm busy. We spent nearly 15 minutes with variations of this back and forth. He was a fluent English speaker, by the way. By the end of it, I was 100% convinced that he couldn't understand the syntax of a hypothetical. He literally couldn't understand the question if, X situation which is not the case, then what action would you take? I wasn't even mad, just astonished. How had he navigated through life thus far? What were his financial decisions like? I really wanted to follow him home and make a reality TV show about him or something. This marks the end of the video. If you like my videos, consider subscribing to stay updated with new content. See you until next time.